What even is calculus? Before you leave, I know it sounds hard, and in all fairness, it gets pretty bad, like so much worse than you could possibly imagine, but I think that the basic concept is something most people can wrap their head around. So this is a limit. These aren't the focus of calculus, I'm just using them as a natural way to introduce the derivative, which is where the rabbit hole opens up. Under the limit are two things, our variable, x, and the number that x is approaching, n. Beside the limit is a function of x. To find the value of this expression, you take the function of x, 2x squared plus 1, and set the value of x to be closer and closer to the number x is approaching, 2. In this case, it has the same effect as if you just substituted 2 for x, but in other cases, substitution will make the value of your function undefined. For example, how would you find the value of this, a ratio between two functions that both equal 0 when at 3, where x is approaching 3? First draw a graph with the two functions, and infinitely zoom on x equals 3, where they both cross 0. This causes both functions to look like a straight line. Move away from x equals 3 by an infinitely small amount, which we will call dx, difference in x. Likewise, we will call the amount that each y value increased dy. In this case, the dy's are equal to their respective y values, because the y values are starting at 0. The the slope of either function at this point is its dy divided by dx. Therefore, the ratio between the slopes must be equal to the ratio between the y values. This is called L'Hopital's rule. Except there's one problem. How do you find the slope at one point of a nonlinear function? You can find the average slope between two points, but how do you find the slope of a singular point? Use this formula, where h is the distance between the two points, and make h infinitely small, which you can express with this limit. This is called the difference quotient. When you plug a function, like x squared, into this and simplify, using a process I'll explain in detail in a full video, you get the derivative of that function. If you plug in a value of x into the derivative of a function, it will output the slope of the function at that given x value. The function 0.25x squared has a derivative of 0.5x. This does not mean that the slope is 0.5. Instead, it means that the slope at any given x value is 0.5 times that x value. So to solve our slope ratio problem, all we have to do is find both of the derivatives, substitute 3 for x, and then divide to get the final answer.